Everyone, quite a cool day last Friday. Managed to ride a KX500 for the first time, as well as a stock Vogue for the first time at Moto 101 in Grantham. So uh, check it out and let's see how they stacked up against each other. I actually really enjoying the KX500. Um, I've ridden a lot of CR500s and the KX is definitely a lot smoother, a lot more bottom end. Um, but biggest thing I felt was just the turning. It felt like the box stuck to the ground really well, tracked very, very well and kind of went where you wanted, you know. With the power being quite smooth, you could just roll the turns and just roll it on. Um, and it seemed like it took third gear really well as well. A lot better than the CR500. I normally go second, third, fourth on that way. It was mainly third and fourth in the county, so uh, quite a comfortable bike to ride and really enjoyed it. So this was the very first time I rode a stock Vog, um, and to be fair, it was at the end of the day after I'd finished my motors and stuff, the guys at Moto 101 were kind enough to let me have a go. Uh, my ankle was hurting, my back was hurting, but I just really you know, wanted to take the chance to get out on the bike and see what the hop was all about. Um, and literally did one out lap and two fast laps so uh, I did feel comfortable straight away as you can see in the video uh, so as as much as it's a back-to-back -back test it's not a complete back-to-back -back test I definitely spent a lot more time on the KX500 before I did motors on my YZ250 but uh, yeah I'll have a little debrief at the end of the of the GoPro video and tell you guys what I thought about it
I'm a big believer in whenever you ride a bike for the first time, you know literally within half a lap whether you like the bike or not. Um, to be quite honest with you, I wasn't quite into the whole electric thing. Um, uh, I spoke to a few of my friends that ridden them and they really liked them, so I kind of wanted to have a go myself. And to be honest, it was awesome. I really, really enjoyed it. I liked the way that the bike moved around on the track. Uh, it was pretty cool not having to cover the clutch in the corners. Uh, and just the A to B felt really fast, you know, like when you come out of a corner and you get in the gas, like, it felt like it didn't spin up as much as like a motocross bike or a petrol bike, you know, it just kind of went from A to B really quick and you could flick on the jumps and just, it could turn inside of anything, you know, like it didn't have that inertia of a motor pushing it on past the corners. Um, I was literally riding around halfway through my second lap thinking, oh man, I'd really love one of these. Uh, so kind of weird, you know, like watched a few guys racing, you know, wasn't that hyped on them and then rode one myself and was really, uh, really surprised by it, you know, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what direction the sport goes in with this whole, this whole electric movement, but uh, for sure, I'm a fan of it.